All right, greetings, my friends. Happy Wednesday. Thanks for stopping by. We got us a hot one today. Buddy's sweating back there. So I'm at work right now. I'm out in the parking lot. We're still dealing with all the flooding and cleaning out the warehouse and the office and all that. It's going to go on for another week. Long days, hard work. It's hot. Summer just showed up. Said so springtime, get out of the way. I'm coming through. I'm, I'm burning up right now. Sitting out here in the hot parking lot is not helping. But uh, I'm on a break right now. Took time to get Buddy out, straighten the van up. And I should have turned the fan on back there. I forgot. I'll do that right after the video. I usually keep it on about speed number four all day long. And keep the front windows cracked. And it keeps it pretty cool in here. And I also have a big piece of Reflectix covering the entire windshield right behind the camera. You got to do that in the summertime. Just take your time, get your piece of Reflectix, take your time cutting it out. It's got to fit perfectly. And then you push it up there and then you pull the visors over and hold it up. But without the Reflectix, you're going to scald. And I use uh, this thing on the side doors. You get a piece of this from uh, Dollar Tree and then you cut it down this way. And I put a little extra on the top here, a little tape, but that's, I don't know why I did that. It's not necessary. This panel is getting a little beat up. So uh, this is the passenger door. I know because the sticker is on the inside. And I put a little piece of tape here so I got something to grab. But uh, yeah, that's what I do for the passenger and driver door and the Reflectix up front. And then this, uh, I got that white styrofoam that light still comes through in the other windows. And then I have this other piece that I take down when I'm driving so I can see out of the cargo door over here. You know, some vans, they don't have any windows down that side. All you got is your passenger window, and it's hard to see when you're trying to pull out into traffic. So I keep that window open over here until I park, and then I put this white board up. So uh, that's what I've been doing today. I knew you'd want to see Buddy. I knew it. Haven't seen him in a while. I said, got to get Buddy out. He was the star of the show. He was the mayor of the Maddieville wagon. So what he says goes. Uh, last thing I want to talk about, we're going to keep this short today, is the KuCoin loaning, lending thing I'm doing. Somebody said, well, isn't that predatory? No, no, let me explain. These people that are, are borrowing from me are doing it because it's cheaper to borrow from me than it is to buy their own crypto. See, after you pay all the exchange fees and the trading and all that, the, the currency fees, they're coming out cheaper borrowing from me even at that high daily rate than they would if they went and bought their own crypto. So everybody's happy. They borrow from me, they do their trade, they make their profit, they pay me back. I'm happy, they're happy, everybody's happy. So yeah, I mean, hurt my feelings a little bit that somebody would think, well, that's predatory. That's because you don't know what you're talking about, whoever made that comment. And, uh, you know, sometimes you want to um, not speak first, you know, understand what's going on before you just blurt out stuff like that. But anyway, that's what's going on. Makes Buddy happy, makes me happy. The only problem I'm having is people pay me back too soon. You know, I'm putting out seven day, 14 day and 28 day loans and they're paying me back after like three or four days. And it's almost not worth my while if they don't let the loan go to term. All right, guys, I got to get back to work and uh, go in and pour some water all over my, my head. I'm, I'm scalding hot. Take care. Be well. Smash the bell.